It's touch-up time for Katherine Jackson. She's getting dermal filler for her lips, smile lines, and cheeks. Over the past year, I've really been wanting to get filler in all those places. We'll come around on this side. A school teacher, Jackson has spent much of the past year on Zoom. I'm sure the kids don't really care what I look like, but I still see myself every day. Okay. Jen Isarelli, an aesthetic nurse practitioner, turned to a procedure called threading spurred by her time online doing consults and trainings. I just saw myself aging right in front of my eyes. While the pandemic has kept many of us socially distant, the communications technology that lots of folks have relied on as a substitute has often been very up close and personal. They're on Zoom uh, and, and other social media platforms where they're seeing themselves on their screens and um, they're just not liking what they're saying. I'll turn you this way. Facial plastic surgeon Dr. Jeffrey Schmidt says that's led to an upsurge in his business. It certainly has had a tremendous impact. Certainly not anything I would have foreseen. The so people who are in their 30s, their 40s, they're just beginning to see the signs of aging. Those are people that are really good candidates. Dr. Alexander Rivkin injects what are most often barbed threads under the skin to plump and lift the skin while stimulating collagen growth. This is a non-surgical treatment. It's not invasive. There's really not much downtime at all to it. And the results are, are good. He makes sure, though, the issues his clients want to address match what he's seeing in person. As I turn this way... The lighting on video calls isn't always optimal. He thinks imperfections are okay, and that in this stressful time, Zoom has focused people's attention on their flaws more than ever. A lot of times, as you know, as you know the camera can warp perception somewhat. Your face looks one way on Zoom, doesn't mean reality actually is that way. Schmidt says he aims for a natural look that carries over to his patients' mindsets. We're allowing them to be more expressive and more comfortable in their own skin. They are feeling more confident. That will certainly reflect in their interactions with other people. Isarelli hopes her procedure buys her several years and believes it was worth the $5,000 she shelled out. I did definitely see a lifting um, on my, like the skin on my neck, which was really exciting and impressive. Jackson says she'll be able to put her best face forward now, whether on camera or off. I'm looking at myself all the time, probably really more than anyone else except me. We're just so much more aware these days, she says, which is why this trend may be here to stay. <laughs> You're welcome.